The US government is experiencing jitters as they fear the escalation of wars. This fear is shrouded behind the metaphorical curtain of politics and diplomacy. According to a report published on Axios.com, the CEO Jim van der Hee and co-founder Mike Allen held frequent discussions with leaders from the White House and Congress, CEOs and prominent technologists. This article is grounded in those conversations and serves as my account of their findings. We have never before encountered a time where we have had discussions with such a significant number of high-ranking government officials who, in confidential conversations, express their deep-seated apprehension regarding the sheer multitude of international conflicts occurring simultaneously. It is not our intention to induce fear, but it is crucial to acknowledge the gravity of the situation at hand. According to reports from officials in the United States, the convergence of these crises represents an unprecedented level of concern and danger. According to insiders, this past week and a half was the most intense and unsettling within the White House since President Biden's inauguration over 1,000 days ago. Bob Gates, a former Secretary of Defense who held the position under both George W. Bush and Barack Obama, has shared that America is currently confronting the most significant number of crises since the conclusion of World War II, which took place 78 years ago. The White House's system overload can be described as a colossal funnel that hovers over the Situation Room table. This funnel is where all of the world's issues are brought to the same small group of people. Unfortunately, the capacity of these individuals is limited and they can only handle so much information at once. As a result, there is a cap on how much bandwidth these 8 to 10 individuals can have. It is impossible to completely resolve any of the five crises and consider them resolved. Neglecting them can lead to their escalation into even more significant issues. The fear of a war that may extend to Iran and other regions has escalated due to Hamas's terrorist attack and Israel's response. Officials have cited instances of protests, threats and warnings of anti-American sentiments from Arab nations, which were triggered by a wrong assumption that Israel had attacked a hospital in Gaza leading to the deaths of many. These incidents are believed to be a prelude to the anticipated global reaction to Israel's planned invasion of Gaza. To reinforce their presence in the area, the United States is sending two aircraft carriers to the region. On Thursday, a US Navy destroyer intercepted missiles from Yemen that were apparently targeted towards Israel. This week, US troops in Syria and Iraq encountered drone fire. During his visit to China this week, Vladimir Putin met with Xi Jinping to reinforce their united front against America. In a recently shared article from Foreign Affairs, Gates claims that both leaders share the belief that democratic giants such as America have already peaked and are now in an irreversible state of decline. According to top administration officials, Putin and Xi are capitalizing on this perceived weakness by taking action on multiple fronts. The headline from Reuters speaks volumes. Coordination of Middle Eastern policy with China is being carried out by Russia. The extent of Iran's involvement in the Hamas terrorist attack remains uncertain, but it is suspected that there are some links. What is more concerning is that US officials are apprehensive that Hezbollah, a much larger terrorist organization than Hamas and supported by Iran, may launch an attack as soon as Israel becomes embroiled in Gaza. This raises concerns about Iran's malicious intent. During his Oval Office address on Thursday night, President Biden made it clear that Iran is providing support to not only Russia in Ukraine, but also to other terrorist groups in the surrounding region, such as Hamas. The North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, is known for his erratic behavior and frequent testing of missiles that possess long-range capabilities and nuclear warheads. Gates points out that the nuclear arsenals of Russia, China, Iran and North Korea, when combined, will likely surpass that of the United States within the next few years. In present-day conflicts, a new weapon is being utilized, the dissemination of fabricated or entirely falsified videos that manipulate how people perceive reality in real time. The creators of these technological advancements have disclosed to us, after displaying their latest capabilities, that even the most discerning individuals will struggle to differentiate between authentic and fake videos.
Stay tuned for an upcoming column on this topic in Go Deeper. According to intelligence officials, counterfeit video content combined with bots that simulate real people and fabricated written content are being heavily utilized by groups opposed to American interests. Experts speculate that in the near future, over 90% of all online content will be either manipulated or fraudulent. The subject at hand raises an intriguing question. Why is Ukraine not included on that particular list? Have there have been discussions behind closed doors regarding Ukraine, with Axios.com being advised against mentioning the conflict, or was Ukraine oddly not mentioned? Regardless of one's stance on the matter, this raises the question of whether Ukraine has been abandoned as a hopeless case, or if attention has been shifted solely towards the eastern regions. The merging of all five threats into a single entity is a source of great fear for those in positions of authority. On Thursday, the State Department released an unusual worldwide caution that advises American travelers to be aware of elevated tensions in different parts of the globe that could increase the likelihood of terrorist attacks, protests, or aggressive behavior towards both US citizens and interests. The current moment is marked by dual threats that are affecting the United States on multiple fronts. These threats are occurring at a time when the American political system appears to be, in some cases, quite literally shattered and unable to function properly. The Republican Party's current predicament is not limited to their inability to elect a House Speaker. The possibility of a government shutdown looms amidst the chaos, and the nation is on a collision course with another contentious presidential election cycle. Disjointed factions within both political parties are vying for vastly different candidates, setting the stage for a potentially toxic and divisive outcome. One of the primary concerns of former high-ranking intelligence officials is the potential for domestic turmoil. This unrest could be caused by court decisions against ex-President Trump or protests related to conflicts in the Middle East. Supporters of President Biden view these outbursts as a reminder that a composed and seasoned approach is essential to manage global turbulence. Wisdom comes with age, as stated by Ron Klain, who is Biden's initial chief of staff. The trust that people once had in the opposing party, the media, and what is shared on social media platforms has completely crumbled. This lack of trust even extends to the top secret intelligence that the government uses to assess potential threats. Officials are worried about this particular concern as much as they are concerned about the five other threats mentioned earlier. They acknowledge the possibility of a rapid escalation of the situation, necessitating swift and decisive action. It remains to be seen if Congress or the public could come together in the event of an emergency. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.